Hey guys, this is Brent, the EdTech Principal from EdTech.tv. Uh, today I want to show you how to make a blog uh, with your own name. This is kind of an uh, interesting and important topic. Um, I'm just always surprised at how many teachers don't have their own blog. Um, there's a lot of reasons why I think this is really important, uh, especially moving into the future, but this is just something that everybody needs to have. And it's really not that hard once you actually get into it and do it. You can simply do it on your coffee break uh, between classes. It's really not hard. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. All right. So um, a couple quick notes. Uh, I think it's important for you to have your own domain name. So, you know, if you're uh, Bart Simpson's teacher, you'd be ednacrobopple.com. Um, you can get a lot of free ones, uh, free website hosting and things like that, but uh, the quality is not as good and people kind of look at it as somewhat cheaper. So if you're willing to put just a few dollars into a quality website and with a, your own domain name, you can trust me that'll go a long way to, uh, to help you out in the future. So I'm going to recommend Bluehost. Uh, I've helped a lot of people put together websites and I've used all the different services. Um, and I just found that Bluehost is really easy and it's not going to take a lot of effort on your part to get it figured out. Uh, some of the other ones are pretty complicated or you get into them and you get lost or they try and upsell you on all sorts of things. Um, so this is what we're doing. We're just going to jump right in, get you a, an account with uh, Bluehost, and it'll get you a domain name at the same time. I'm going to make a new website that I've never made before. Um, so that's it. Uh, if you see up here, you can jump to the uh, my affiliate link, which is edtech.tv slash Bluehost. Uh, that'll throw me a couple dollars if you're interested and if you find this useful. If you don't, that's totally okay. Just go over to bluehost.com. Um, but if you do, then thank you. So let's go. So here we are. Today is actually New Year's Day. Uh, I think it's perfect timing to get something started, something new. So uh, we're going to go right here to sign up now. Uh, I need a domain name. Uh, I don't have the domain name that I want. I'm doing everything just the same way that you guys would. Um, I already looked. I want to make this website called EffectiveTeacher.net. Uh, that's something that I'll get into a little bit later. Uh, if you if you check it out, it might be inactive, but uh, but it might be active if I'm if I've gotten around to actually making it. So. Uh, I know that EffectiveTeacher.net is available. I'm going to search for it. It says uh, my domain is available, so I want that. I'm going to fill in the information. So I'm going to kind of speed through this right now. Um, the extra things are up to you, what you want to do, and every person is going to have their own choices. My honest advice, just keep it simple, keep it minimal, um, you know, go for a one-year plan and don't buy all the extra stuff. Um, create your password. Pretty complicated need for a password, but we'll figure it out. Okay, I got a fair password there. I'll fix it later. So now I'm in. And I'm logging in. Uh, okay. So 
uh, here we're actually inside and I'm gonna go right down here to the part that says C panel so I don't need all this extra stuff but um, I want to go right into this part called C panel uh, this is the important part that will actually get you your blog built so Uh, we can go down to this part that says Site Builder. We want to build our site, right? So, um, so now we're in the uh, Simple Scripts section. Um, we've changed it a little bit, but it should be fairly straightforward still. We've got WordPress right here. install WordPress um, it's got all these different options and things but basically we just want to install it a brand new version install a brand new version okay so here we are it uh, takes us right into this little section simple preferences um, what do you where do you want it to be installed um, I'm gonna want it right here at effectiveteacher.net um, the site title, I could change this later if I wanted to, but really um, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. So, uh, the effective teacher. Um, uh, there's more that we can mess with later. I'm going to say let's not mess with the plugins right now. Um, and themes, legal information, you'll read it and complete okay so here we can see that it's um, installing it. it says also right there you do not need to stay on this page for this process to complete um, that's fine but we will good so now, uh, EffectiveTeacher.net is a real live website. So if we go over here, a new tab. Here you can see that I've already got the website there and available for me. And I'm also going to jump right in and make our first post. Um, so if we go back here, it'll tell you almost every WordPress site you're going to have is this uh, the URL, so in this case, effectiveteacher.net slash WP admin. Um, here's the temporary password, so I'm going to copy that. So in other words, admin and use that password. Um, I don't want to save this one right now. So here we're in the dashboard of um, WordPress. This is basically where you do everything on the back end of your site. Um, we're going to quickly take a look and write your first blog post. Let's say not high, we'll say our first blog post. Hi. And this is another site that I'm interested in. And we're going to publish. Now it says that it's published, and I can also go and click this. It says View Post. And now I can see that I actually have my first post on my blog on EffectiveTeacher.net. Um, you'll go into the background there and you'll change all the things. You can also change the themes if you like. Um, I'll probably show you how to do this in the future, in a future episode. Uh, but for now, you have a website. Congratulations.